in the last video of this fps series we are implemented camera movement to our player in this video we will learn how to add a simple movement to our player so let's just jump into it At first, we will add a movement script to our player. Let's call it player movement. Double click on the script and it will open up in the Visual Studio. Inside the script, we take two float variables, move forward and move side. Then take a float variable speed and make this public so that we can change its value in the editor. Just for now, take the value of this variable as 10. Now take a rigid body component and call this RB. Initialize the rigid body inside the start function by writing rb equals to get component and inside the angle brackets write rigid body then open and close the brackets to get it initialized. Now inside update function write move forward equals input dot get axis and inside brackets write vertical and multiply it with the speed variable. Do the same for the move side variable. The only change you have to make is to write horizontal instead of vertical. Now add these variables as forces to our player. Write rb.velocity equals transform.forward star move forward plus transform.right multiplied with move side and transform.up multiplied with rb.velocity.y. forget to put the semicolon. Now save the script and go back to Unity. When you hit play, you will find our player is already able to move. That's all for this video. In the next video, we will add jump and sprint to our player. Subscribe to our channel for find more game development related content. Thanks for watching.